Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 4. In this video, we're going to be doing a software overview using our Holly EFI software. When we move into our training course, we need to know how to use various features and functions within our software. So we're going to be introducing a lot of things in this video, so we're going to be more comfortable with navigating the software and moving into our future training videos. Without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at our Holly EFI software and doing a software overview. In the last few videos, we've learned how to download and install our Holly V5 software. We learned how to do a firmware update on a Holly HP or Dominator box, learn proper file structure and management within our global files and folders. We've also learned how to download and upload a calibration file to our Holly HP or Dominator box. So now we're ready to take a look in this video at the overview of the software. So where things are going to be found and how certain features or functions are going to work so that when we jump into the training course and look at something like field tuning or look at something like boost control, you're going to be familiar with the software and more comfortable with navigating things and follow along with what I'm going to be showing you again in the video. So what we're going to do right now is jump into download from ECU. I'm going to be downloading the file that's loaded to my Holly Dominator box that we've worked with in the last video. So my vehicle is powered on right now. My Holly Dominator is powered on. I have the USB cable plugged into the Dominator, also plugged into my laptop. So we're ready to do a download from ECU. When I go and click that button here, it's going to keep prompting me up with a TPS auto set. Now this is going to need to be taken care of before we actually try to fire up the engine using the Holly Dominator HP, but for right now we can ignore it. The TPS auto set is going to do a min and max learn on where the throttle position sensor is going to be at when we're off the throttle and then on the throttle. It needs to know the zero position and the 100% position if it's referencing things like wide open throttle or if we're all the way off the throttle in deceleration fuel cut or in idle control or as a throttle sweeping and moving, the acceleration enrichment feature. So it's going to have to be performed. And in fact, it will not fire the coils or injectors until we've taken care of the TPS auto set. But for right now, we don't need to worry about it. I'll click OK here and we'll skip it. We can see right now it's synced in all of our configurations and it's downloaded the file out of our Dominator box. And we can find here at the top that we have our individual configurations here downloaded and ready to go. So we are online with our Dominator right now. Um, we actually haven't created a USB link where we're actually streaming data out yet. We're going to take a look at that. But for um, all intents and purposes here, we're ready to actually start to work with our calibration file. So what we're going to do here is jump into the top portion of our screen, work our way across the top here, and then we're going to go into the lower icons and talk about the various things we're going to find, as well as taking a look at just getting live with the ECU, looking at some of our sensor configuration data here. So we're going to get more comfortable with that. So let's jump up here to File, and we're going to find in our drop-down directory, we see that we have a whole bunch of things we could click on and take a look at. We can find Create New Global File. We see Open Global File import global file. Let's talk about these first three. Now the create new global file is going to allow us to actually create a whole new file, configuration file or calibration file to upload to our HP or Dominator. Now right now I have something uploaded that was um, one of the defaults from Holly. If we don't want to use one of those base calibration or the custom calibration files in that Holly directory, we can create a new global file. Let's take a look at how to do that. It's going to ask me if I want to save changes to this particular file that we've created in that last video. We've already saved it under that folder we've created under EPA tutorial, so I don't need to save it. I know it's saved in that file. If I wasn't sure if I didn't have it saved, I would just save it just to make sure it was saved. But for right now, I'm going to say no. And then it's going to be popping up a window here. This is going to allow me if I go through. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.